What's up, everybody? It's your friend, Ricky, the realtor. Hope all is well. Happy holidays, everybody. We're back at it. This is Raw and Uncut Real Estate, episode number 21, where we give you our unbiased, unfiltered opinion and give it to you raw and uncut in regards to what's going on in the real estate market and just give it to you the, our, you know, more, more than anything, our unbiased opinion. So we're going to jump right into it, guys. And I'm going to talk about a frequently asked question, something that a lot of buyers reach out to me about. And uh, you guys might know what it is. And a lot of the times I get, um, you know, direct messages, I get calls, texts, emails. If I have any off market opportunities or if there are any flip properties out there. So, guys, I'm going to tell you a little bit about flips, a little bit about fixer uppers, all that good stuff. So, more than anything, I get that, that text Hey, do you, got, hey, do you have any fixer uppers? Do you have any off market deals, any things like that? And most of the time, it's all about your network. It's all about finding that right property, right? And I'll be honest with you guys, it's not an easy property to navigate in regards to the purchase process. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to tell you the, the first thing is that, you know, financing comes into mind. So when I get these calls and texts and people are like, hey, I want to fix your upper. One thing you guys really just need to just keep um, into consideration and just really just... Uh, more than anything, get a little bit more information about is the financing. Most of the time when it's an off-market deal, most of the time when it's a fixer-upper, a flip, or some, something of that nature, the seller's going to want an all-cash offer. Most of the time, the seller is in a, a situation where they need to sell and they need cash now. So either it's going to be an all-cash offer via investors' funds, angel investors, a, a, a REIT, um, just just whether or not you have the cash on hand is going to make a huge difference to that seller because they have a situation where they need to sell right away. So traditionally, loans may or may not work in the situation depending on the condition of the property. That's one thing also that needs to be considered, guys, because you cannot buy a home that has holes in the walls, that's distressed with any type of loan. Most of the time, like I said, it's going to require an all-cash offer because the lender is gonna send an appraiser out there and they're gonna evaluate the property based on comps, condition, location, et cetera. So if they go into that house and it needs a lot of work, it may not pass that appraiser uh, appraiser's uh, uh, valuation. They may make some notes to the lender and they may kick that out and not allow you to buy it with their, with their financing. FHA is very strict on this, guys. And in addition to that, you cannot buy flips. There's a 90-day flip rule don't ask me why they did this. Um, you know, I know they did this to protect buyers, but it does also limit the inventory as well for buyers with FHA financing. You cannot buy a home that's been flipped in the last 90 days and the and the condition of the property has been livable condition. There can't be any safety hazards, uh, health and safety more than anything, most things that they look at, but they're, you know, the, the condition of the property needs to be in um, in good in good condition. You can't have holes in the walls, carpet missing, stuff like that. Maybe a little bit more lenient with conventional financing, but it's a case-by-case -case basis. And definitely you want to consult your realtor before moving forward on that. So financing is key, guys. Make sure that you talk to your lender if you're looking for a property of that nature. I'm not saying it's impossible, just a little bit more difficult. And again, like I said, the financing is going to really limit what you can go out and buy, especially if it is a distressed property or property in a great location. There's going to be not just one uh, realtor out there showing their client or that realtor may not have just one client for that particular property. It's going to be very sought after and it's going to be a property that goes fast, all cash, short contingencies, because what that uh, buyer essentially wants to do is they want to get in there with their crew and they want to start working on it right away to get it back on the market and hold that property at, for the least amount of time because they do not want to be either paying their investors, do not we be, you know, and they also can get a hard money loan, which a lot higher interest rates. It is an, essentially an all-cash offer, depending on who you go through with your lender that does an, a hard money loan. But essentially, that uh, lender also has some skin in the game, and they're going to go into it as a partner with you as well. So you have to pay uh, your the shareholders. You have to pay the lender. You have to pay folks who are invested in that with you. And every day that you hold that property is going to cost you more and more. So you got to really dive, you know, kind of dive in um, and find that right financing for that right property and make sure you consult your realtor and your lender when you're doing that. Three things I will tell you guys to, you know, that I feel like that are extremely important that you always need to keep, um, you know, just in mind when you're going out and finding these properties, working with the realtor, 
um, or making offers on, on, on properties, you know, if you're going straight to the seller and sending out uh, postcards or just knocking, uh, they call it a, a door knocking for dollars. So uh, if you're out there finding property, you know, make sure that one, you do your research. That's the most important thing. Talk to your realtor, talk to your lender, do the research, find out if there's any liens on the property, what they owe on it, what the backstory is, talk to the neighbors, anything you guys can find about that property, it's best to do so before you go into it and you start you know, getting really aggressive. So number one, do your research. Number two, guys, budget. Set a budget, what you wanna spend, how much you, know, you want to uh, allocate for the rehab or the remodel, et cetera. More than anything, just make sure you're being very conservative on your numbers as well because you do not want to go over budget. Every dollar you go over budget cuts into your profits, guys. So set a budget. Make sure you stick to that and stay extremely conservative. And number three, which I think is probably the most important one, have an, ed uh, an exit strategy. Excuse me. So you want to have an exit strategy. If for some reason you cannot, you were going to wholesale it, you're going to buy it at a discount and sell it to another realtor or sell it to another investor. And that's where folks make uh, a quick dollar amount where they buy it extremely low if they have a, a you know extraordinary circumstance where they can get a property way below market value, sell it at market value to another investor or another realtor or their client. So that's where you make a little bit of money. And that's if you cannot hold it, you need to move it. But the money, guys, is definitely in the rehab and remodel so that you can get it back on the market and get top dollar from those buyers that are looking to get into a home um, with these awesome low interest rates this time of year. And it's going to be, it's going to, we're still going to have this really strong demand. I believe uh, Joe Biden, our president elect, is going to hopefully roll out his grant program where he's going to be giving first time homebuyers $15,000, which I believe is going to make the market a little bit more competitive as well. So if you're uh, looking out for these properties, number one, make sure you go through your financing, make sure you have the right financing to to acquire the property and my top three things guys that you need to always keep in mind do your research number one number two set your budget and number three have an exit strategy whether you're going to sell it outright wholesale it to another another buyer another realtor another investor or if you're going to go to the market make sure that budget stays handy that you're sticking to your numbers and that you make the most profit possible if you need anything don't hesitate to reach out Love to be a resource for you. Happy to tell you what we have available off market and also help help you find that right property for you, for your investments, for your investors, for what have you, for anything that you're looking to do. You know, we're happy to help and help you uh, reach your real estate endeavor. So once again, this is Ricky J. Alvarez, Boulevard Real Estate. And uh, we were talking about investments. We were talking about off market properties, flips, uh, all that good stuff. You know, we're definitely... Uh, want to be a resource for you and help you the, as much as we can even if we're not working with you we're here for you so once again <laughs> fixers we got you covered let us know how we could help and uh, most of the time guys make sure you're going through all this information with your realtor before you start getting too aggressive because we always want to protect you uh, your family and all, ultimately your bottom line to make sure that we're helping you achieve your real estate goals so if there's anything we do for you, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much, guys. This is Raw and Uncut Real Estate, episode number 21. We're talking all about fix fixers, flippers, <laughs> and investment properties. So thanks again, guys. Have a great one. Talk to you soon.